From Wilkesbury to Seelands Grove, Hurricane Agnes wrecked homes and neighborhoods across our area. A greenhouse in Snyder County is remembering the flooding Agnes caused on the Isle of Kew. Newswatch 16's Nikki Cries was back on the island today. The Isle of Kew is part of Sealands Grove, located along the Susquehanna River and Penns Creek. It's a nice recreational area. There's boat launches here and things, and it's a great haven for walking and, and riding bikes. Ryan's florist and pretty leaf greenhouses has been on the Isle of Kew for 107 years. The business has been through both a fire and flooding. We've gone through 72. There was a flood, I believe, in 78. And I've been here for the 96 flood, the 2004 flood, and the 2011 flood. Owner Ed Allman bought the business in 1995. He lives and works on the Isle of Kew and says flooding is a worry, but you learn how to deal with it. Every year we always watch the weather and see what's going to happen and you live year to year. You never know. Almond was not in Sealands Grove when Agnes flooded the island, but his customers remember it well. It has been rather devastating for the people who have lived here, but there are so many local residents that have stayed and they've been resilient to all the floods and they've bounced back and have continued to live here. So I think that's a testament to the people of Sealands Grove. As a way of remembering Agnes, Rhines is giving back to the people who live on the Isle of Kew. Almond is giving Isle of Kew residents a $30 voucher to his greenhouse on Friday, which is during the week of the 50 year anniversary of Hurricane Agnes. Residents can pick out plants of their choice. A way of saying thank you for staying here. Thank you for living here. And um, just a way to remember of what did happen. Almond says this week's anniversary certainly is not something to celebrate. Instead, he is giving away plants as a way of remembering what happened here 50 years ago. Nikki Cries, Newswatch 16, Snyder County.